Welcome back to another episode of Henry TV. I am your host, 22 Plinkster, and in my hands is Henry Repeating Arms' brand new garden gun. Even though the garden gun idea and concept is nothing new, they've been out since the 1930s, most, or if all, firearm companies have discontinued their garden gun. Henry wanted to resurrect the idea and concept of the garden gun, so they created their own. If you don't know what a garden gun is, it is a smooth bore firearm. Yes, this looks like the H001, and there are some differences, but the big difference is this is a smooth bore firearm. Therefore, it is not considered a rifle, it's actually considered a shotgun. Henry has sold over 1 million H001 rifles, and even though the garden gun looks very similar to the H001, it's not, because the H001 has rifling inside of the barrel, and the H001 also has walnut furniture. On the garden gun, it has stained ash wood on the rear and also on the forearm. It's kind of hard to explain the texture of this ash wood. It is not smooth like you would find on a walnut stock. The grains on the stock are raised and it feels really, really good in the hands. The garden gun was designed to take out those pesky rodents that you may have in your barn or that you may have on your property. It's not very loud when you shoot the shot shells, but it can take out pigeons and starlings and sparrows that may be building nests or wreaking havoc on your property. Since it shoots number 12 shot pellets at a relatively low velocity, you don't have to worry as much as doing damage to your property and also a chance of ricochet that may hit your livestock. If you shoot a regular 22 lr cartridge, through the garden gun, you're not gonna be very accurate because like I mentioned, it is smoothbore. There's no rifling in there to stabilize the bullet. However, if you shoot shot shells through a regular 22 LR that has rifling in it, you're not gonna be very accurate with those shot shells because the rifling opens up those shot as soon as they leave the barrel. I've got some targets set up downrange. I'm going to shoot the garden gun at five, 10, 15, and 20 feet, and I will show you the patterning differences between the garden gun and a regular rifle that has rifling inside the barrel. From the tip of my barrel to the target on the left-hand side is exactly five feet. Up first, I'm gonna be shooting it with the H001. Now I've got the regular CCI shot shells that I'm gonna be trying here in just a minute with the garden gun, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you the difference between rifling in a barrel uh, compared to a smooth bore. So again, five feet left-hand target with CCI shot shells. All right, opened up the pattern pretty good. Now let me grab the garden gun, the exact same ammo, one on the right. Huge difference. All right, now we're gonna shoot 10 feet same CCI shot shells out of a rifled barrel out of the H001. Wow, that's, that's no bueno. All right, now let's do the same thing out of the garden gun at 10 feet. Yeah, that's much more better good. All right, now we're back at 15 feet. I've got the H001, I'll be shooting the target on the left, and as you saw at 10 feet, there's a huge difference between just 10 feet when dealing with a rifled barrel and a smooth bore. So here we go. 15 feet, target on the left. Yeah, that's not, that's not good at all. Now we're gonna try the garden gun. Yes, much, much tighter pattern. Okay, now I'm back at 20 feet. Now this is probably the farthest effective range of these CCI shot shells, whether it be in a rifled barrel or a smooth bore. Now I can't tell you one thing, if it's fired out of a smooth bore, you wanna have a little bit more velocity than that of a uh, firing it out of a rifled uh, barrel. The reason for that is simple. The rifling of the barrel slows these pellets down and a smooth bore, they can just go right through. So 20 feet, let's see what kind of pattern we can get on this left-hand target. They got a few in there. I'm thinking the garden gun's gonna do a little bit better. Yes, much better. Now, I can even say that you can probably back up at a good 30 feet, but for this test, we're only gonna experiment at five, 10, 15, and 20 feet. Five feet with the garden gun, it's a no-brainer. Very, very tight group. H001 with a rifled barrel. 
you can see how much difference just the gun and the rifling affects the shot at five feet. This is a large group. Now, you can still be pretty effective for you know shooting something from five feet away if you need to uh, for pest control or anything like that, but I much rather have this group than this group, or well, pattern, excuse me, not really group. Now, here at 10 feet, the pattern's still really good with the garden gun, and you can see how much it opens up at 10 feet. 15 um, feet with the H001 compared to the garden gun, and you can really see the difference at 20 feet. The top one here is the garden gun, and the bottom one here is the H001. There is a need for a garden gun, whether you live on a farm uh, and you have to do the pest control, or if you just wanna have fun. It's a fun little firearm to shoot. But if you have any questions regarding the garden gun or any other firearm that Henry may produce, put them in the comments below or go over to the Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, remember guys, if it's not made in America, it's not gonna be made at all.